And in a few days, the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region will celebrate the 15th anniversary of its return to China. And starting from today, we bring you a series of reports on the metropolis. But this time, we'll travel to Bird Street to talk with Hong Kong's avian specialists there. And Mary Davis has this story. Tourists may walk right past this spot amidst the flap and flutter of crowded Kowloon, but the eagle-eyed will definitely take note. This is Bird Street, and as the name suggests, it sells everything related to birds, including the little creatures themselves. Here we met longtime shop owner Mr. Huang, who shared his own story with us. It used to be good business to feed a family by selling birds, but now it isn't working anymore. I'm still doing it because I'm retired and my children all are grown up. So that allows me to keep the store here. This bird cage is made by a specialist in Guangzhou. It costs 5,000 Hong Kong dollars. That's over 600 U.S. dollars. Not many people are in the cage-making business, so today Mr. Chen is a rare bird himself. He's 70 years old and has been making bird cages for 50 years. People come to me when their cage is broken or needs repainting. It's a pity I can't find someone to pass my skills on to. Young people in Hong Kong only study and don't practice these kinds of skills anymore. I can't even find an apprentice. It's not just the cage-making business, though. The whole bird market is declining. Some attribute that to recent bird flu outbreaks in Hong Kong. But that's not deterring vendors like Mr. Huang. I don't want to give up this business because I love my job. I may take two or three days off during the Chinese New Year, but I can't leave these birds here. They need food and water. It's just that spirit of persistence that keeps the street going. And without it, we wouldn't have the sweet sounds of bird chirping to break up the hustle and bustle of city life. Mary Davis, CCTV, 